Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the show. And today we are continuing on another Port Swigger Web Security Academy series walkthrough. And today's lab is going to be OS Command Injections. There they are, Command Injections. Dun, 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 dun. They are so fun for us. We love to see it. Well, we don't. I mean, it's fun when you find it, and then you go, oh, no. I, this is this is probably, we should probably tell someone. See something, say something, as they say, right? So let's see here. Let's get into the nitty gritty of this. This lab contains an OS command injection vulnerability in the product stock checker. Uh, let's make sure. Yes, I'm just I want to make sure you can see all of this. The application executes a shell command containing user supplied product and store IDs and returns raw output from the command in its response. To solve the lab, execute the who am I command to determine the name of the current user. This seems fairly straightforward. I've already hit the access lab button. I also have burp suite running like a champion. You can see it's doing all sorts of stuff. Let's go. First thing we need to do is I don't need anything from YouTube. I don't know why the YouTube stuff always comes up. Let's just right click and hit add to scope. And yes, and that way that other stuff will not dirty up our HTTP history. I'll just get rid of these things. <clears throat> Right click and delete those selected items. Perfect. So we got burp running. Of course, Foxy Proxy doing all the hard work up here where I've got my proxy turned on. I've got another one called burp, but they're basically the same thing. All right. So let's get into the lab. This is where we landed when I fired it off. This is the page it took me to, the landing page, as it were. And I think we're just going to go to a product. So I'm going to go with this comm tool, also known as a phone. Or should we do 3D voice assistance? Heck, why not? It's a lot cheaper, too. I really enjoy the Chris Christie looking fella they got going on here. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really matter what it is. What we're looking for is this check stock feature, right? And we pick, a, we got a little drop down. We can, oh, okay, how many are in Paris? Check stock. This is 55 units. Okay. Well, of course, since we're, uh, you know, doing our recon, our enumeration, and all that other fun stuff that we like to, the terminology we use, we like to go in there. It did tell us it was in the product stock checker utility thingamajog, right? That's, that's technical jargon, by the way. The thingamajog with the samaflange. But over here in the request area, bing, bing, bing. We're going to look for that post, and we got this product ID equals two, store ID equals two. This is this is being fed into a, a, a web application that is telling, hey, operating system, run this for me, would you? And it's, it's becoming a part of, it's probably concatenating into an actual OS command string, <clears throat> and then it's executing it. We just got to inject into said command string. So I'm going to right click on our post request here, send that to the repeater, hit the repeater tab, and that will take us here. Let's see here. So if I hit send right around this region, I should get a 200 OK. And I can see also right around here that it says there's 55. So I, I know everything's working. Now we just start poking it with a stick. I'm just going to try at the end of store ID. And there's a couple of different things you can use. Let me, let me go here. We'll open a terminal. And, and I'll make it big. Make it big. Nano. Um, just call this stuff.txt. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to use this so you can see what's going on here. Right? So let's go grab this. From here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that little spot right there, which you can now see is in the selected text, but we're we'll able to manipulate this a little bit better if we copy this and put it in our text editor. Paste that in, there we go. So what I wanna do here is I wanna start adding something. Now, there are a couple of different characters that we could be using as you well know, right? Because that's what we're doing. That's you, should, you have read all about this fun stuff. You can use a, Semicolon. We could use a. I don't like that. I want it. I want it huge. I want it huge. Huge. It's huge. 
right? I'm in a political <laughs> mindset today for some reason. So I can use a semicolon. I can use a double, semi oh, double semicolon. Sometimes that works. Sometimes we can use ampersands. Those work. Sometimes double ampersands. Use the pipe character. Sometimes the double pipe character. If one does not work, you try the next. And if that doesn't work, you try the next. You, next, you get the idea. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. So... Uh, I always usually just start with a semicolon like so. So we're going to try that first, pop that in there. And, and after that, you put your command. So if I wanted to, you know, cat slash Etsy slash password, I could do that. I could do um, ID, right? I could do LS dash LA or AL, I guess I wrote. Uh, I can do any command I want as long as I have permissions to run it. If I know a, cat, a file is there, I could cat it, I could do whatever. And if, of course, the uh, semicolon doesn't work, I can double semicolon and then cat Etsy password. You get the idea, right? I can use ampersand, cat, Etsy password, and so on and so forth. So let's try that. Let's just test it and see if it works. We'll go back here, and I'm just going to add to the end of that. I'm going to say ampersand. No, I'm gonna, I am always like the semicolon first. It's typically where I, I fire off from the get-go. And I'm going to try to cat slash Etsy slash password. And if it works, then we should see that in the, oh, look at that. See that in the output right there? Isn't that pretty? Don't you love that? Not a fun time. See, there's the Etsy password file. This means, rut row, we have command injection. So now for us to win the game, all we have to do is, I do want to test a couple of the others first. So I'm going to try double semicolons and see if that works. Cat slash Etsy, we'll do slash hosts. Just to, I got okay, got a syntax error, but you notice I'm getting shell error, like standard error is coming back. You can see that right here in the selected text area. I know this font is kind of small, but I, I wouldn't be able to see anything. I got to get a good magnifier for this thing. All right, so that one didn't work. What about ampersand? Will ampersand work? Ampersand cat slash Etsy slash hosts. Uh, let's hit send. Okay, it didn't hate it, but it also looks weird. As I see, it just come back with 55, which was, so it ran the command. There must be nothing, is it Etsy? I think it's Etsy host, right? Etsy host or hosts? Yeah, right, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. Let's try password again, because we know there's something in there. So that does not seem to work there. Okay. What about double ampersand? That's a that's a dollar sign, Daniel. <laughs> double ampersand. Hit send. Still getting 55. All right, so those don't work. Let's try a pipe. Two cat pipe. Oh, yeah, so the pipe worked great. How about double pipe? Double pipe. Where's my pipe? There it is. Send. Double pipe did not work. So we found at least two characters that worked well for us the semicolon, and the pipe character. So now we got to do is fire off that who am I command. So I'll just leave the pipe there. Back off cat Etsy password and type in who am I and fire and forget. Oop, I don't need that. I need the fire and forget. Hit send. And we can see right there we are logged in. If you look at the selected text over in this area, we are logged in as Peter dash NVNFCM. Cool. Let's go back to our app. Let's uh, refresh the page. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Congratulations. We have solved the lab. That was fun. I love command injections because when you find one, you know, you're just basically a kid in a candy store at that point. It's you, they've basically given you a web shell at the point where you find there is OS command injection. And that's bad, right? People should not be in the business of giving their their you know would be attackers uh, uh, an avenue of just pure unadulterated hey run system commands on my stuff, right? That's that's bad. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. That's OS command injection. Uh, there's a couple more left in the series. We're almost at the end of the apprentice track, man. I'm feeling it. I'm I'm like I'm giddy with excitement. So hopefully you are as well, and you'll join me for that. Until next time. Keep hacking.